Hi, welcome back to a special edition of Conversations with Nick Kanellakis. I'm your host, Michael Brown is here. Hi, Michael. Hi, Nick. You know, Michael, we've had a lot of wonderful guests on this program. We have. We were discussing how for this episode, we really wanted to have a top-notch chamber group on the program. But not just any top-notch chamber group, but I'm talking about a string quartet that's basically been the most highly respected, admired, and successful quartet of the last 50 years. Not only a group that that I've looked up to since I was a kid, but that's inspired a whole new generation of young quartets whose countless recordings have really become, you know, the definitive versions of all the great string quartet literature, you know. Unfortunately, the Guarneri Quartet was not available. They're all sort of in separate places now. They're a little little hard to get in touch with. They are. They are. But, uh, you know, we're we're, we're very lucky instead to have um, the uh, Emerson Quartet on the program. You know, one interesting thing about being in a string quartet is that, wouldn't you say the name of the quartet can get a lot of recognition, but maybe a little, it's a little harder for maybe the individual member. I mean, who hasn't heard of the, the Emerson Quartet, right? So, I mean, let me, so I just, um, let me just, um, so I got just a Wikipedia article. Um, so we have on violin, we have the Danny and Todd Phillips. That's the that's a different string quartet. Which, which one? That's is that? the Orion string quartet. I love the Orion. Quartet. Yeah, I do too. But that's not that's not them. Maybe we, we could too. maybe we could get one of them. We, we on like the, the Guarneri Quartet a lot too, by the way. Well, who doesn't? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. It's made for a different episode. Oh, here we go. So okay, of course, on on uh, violin we have um, Phil. Phil. Right. And um, Gene. So, uh, Jean, Phil. Phil, Phil and Jean, of course. Jean. It's okay, people Eugene. get us confused yeah. very often. Is that right? It's yeah. fine. It's amazing. Has yeah. it really? Well, they look so much alike. Right. Yeah. And, and, and uh, okay. Then that would be Larry the violist. I always like having violists on the show. They're some of my favorite guests. I was listening to a, a recording of the Emerson the other day, and I was thinking, boy, that violist sure has an incredible technique. Really, everything's there, and so. I was assuming that you're actually a violinist. A long time ago I played, I studied the violin in high school. You started on violin. Started on violin, switched in my last year of high school. I'm so sorry to hear that. It's okay, it's okay. Uh-huh. Uh, keep in mind what you heard was a recording. That's a good point. Yeah, you got, true. Is, is that? I mean, so, that's kind yeah. of the way it works. You know? Are you saying your recordings are highly edited? Uh, nothing enough, like that. Just no, we're enough. Not no. that. Just enough. It's all just one enough. take, yeah. except one for the take. viola. I see, yeah. Mm. Every <laughs> moment of each of our recordings <laughs> is all one take. All right, well, let's get to the big news, huh? Mm. Okay. So the Emerson Quartet obviously was in the news recently because it was announced that, David, you'll be leaving the quartet after next season. Yeah. And, um, leaving. It's not leaving. It, it's leaving. I'm but, really but leaving. leaving. I'm, but I'm Versus really leaving. You're leaving. I, well, we, we know you're leaving, but it's... I mean, maybe I just, leaving like dying. But I guess what I'm saying is, um, I don't know. I just think it's a testament to your character that you're willing to sit here with these guys after being treated like that. L- let me ask. Let me put it to you three. I mean, mm-hmm. don't you think it's a little cold? He put in, you know, years and years of his life to the quartet, and then just kick him out now. Is that what, what you read? Well, I read between the lines. Oh, I, mean, I see. Uh, it's the old reading. Between yeah. You know, it's yeah. like when you resign yeah. from a company. Well, That's there's true. nothing between the lines. He's me. just decided. We haven't even given him a gold watch. Yeah. That's what you're telling the media. No. I see. I see. It was his decision. This was your decision to leave. Well, mostly yeah. So you're so you're like you're gonna you're like you're gonna become like a freelance cellist like me. You're joining my world basically. What's you know? it like? I mean It's tough. It's very competitive, it's brutal. But you know, I I know I know you and you're talented and I think you'll be fine. There's orchestra yeah, jobs opening up all the time. I don't know that music though. It's better Gosh. not to learn the excerpts at the last minute. You may probably. So should start now. I think so. Section positions opening up all the time. Trust me. The bigger news is that the Emerson Quartet's going to go on forever. That's even more important than me leaving. Because you guys are staying and you're getting a new cello player, and that brings me to my next point, mm-hmm. which is um, I was just thinking since you have an opening now. I did um, print off a, a resume 
that I thought oh. maybe I could give to you guys. Um, sure. I only have I only have one copy because I'm trying to save on paper, but maybe you could just read that to the guys and just you know just have it on record. Nick Kanalakis is a cello player. He also likes to play string quartets very much. I think he'd be a really great addition to the Emerson Quartet. I'm just saying. With with all due respect, mm. we did make a decision already on mm. a new cellist. I mean, you know, we didn't know that you were interested. Uh, uh. I didn't. Had he had the bio before, I think maybe it's possible. maybe it's Probably possible. Because he didn't yeah. have the bio. Yeah. Because he didn't have I think bio. it's definitely because he didn't have the bio. I mean, that's a strong bio. Yes. Yeah. Very strong. Should yeah. we mention his name? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What? Are you curious? To yeah, I'd like to know. Paul Watkins. Mm -hmm. Paul Watkins. Paul Watkins. Okay. okay. Oh. I I so, know him. He's a yeah. He's, he's a he's a really nice guy. He's a wonderful guy. Here's the thing. I mean, look. Now you have my resume. Who knows what's going to happen in the future? You know, I mean, if God forbid something were to happen to your new cellist, you know, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know if if if, if like what? Get, what are you like what? What are you talking about? It's a crazy world. If he were to get into an accident, or if he, would, God forbid, were to get killed or something, you know, if you, I don't know. These things happen sometimes. But you're you know? not hoping for that or anything. No, no. But I'm just saying, if he were killed, it'd probably be like by someone that really planned it out well and is totally untraceable. Who should give Paul a call? Um. <clears throat> well, I mean, you know, there's there's a whole class of people out there, you know, who, who just know you guys as the Emerson Quartet. Right. But we're trying to show you as, you know, David, Phil, Larry, Gene, mm -hmm. or... Yeah. Phil. 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 I mean, Larry. Phil. Larry. Let's start again. Yeah, go ahead, start okay. again. David. Phil. Larry. 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 Phil. No, this is Larry. I this know, I know. That's you what I said. You said, kept saying I said Phil. Phil. No, no, it's Larry. Yeah, it's Larry. Phil. Phil.